how to have effective communication. Now this is another big topic about communication. Communication, the most important part is listening. This listening includes listening to the words, listening to the feelings, looking at the expression of the person. Like, you notice when I'm talking, I'm looking at you one by one. I don't just look at you as a group. I look at each one of you one by one. That's already, even though you were not talking, I, I'm listening to your response. So, listening, listen to the feeling and the, res the need of the person, uh, the condition of the person, the body language, all this we listen. And then communication, there's training on communication and five areas of communication. You can write that down. It's, it's called self-awareness. It helps you to be aware of yourself in the five areas and communicate about in five areas. That's people's communication generally fall into these five areas. Now, what I mean is, these are healthy communication. Now, people communicate other than these five areas, but these are five areas that help you to have connection with people. The first, I do. Action, it's about what I do. What I do, my action. In the past, now, and future. Action. Second, I think. My thinking. Third, my sense. Maybe sense should be number two, sense. Sense is what I see, what I hear, what I feel physically. And then number three is what I think. And then what I want, I want. I want to go there, I want to do this. And then number five, I feel. So first, what I do, and then I sense, and then I think, and then I, uh, I want and I feel. Now why is it important to communicate about these things? These are about you. Communication is about you. But most, many people communicate about other people. Oh, so and so, my friend, my, someone else did this. That is not meaningful communication. That is just talking about something, like talking about the news. It's not real communication. It's not personal communication. This is talk about personal communication. First, we need to be aware of what I'm doing. Now, for instance, you go home to your family members, you see your friends or family members, you tell them, oh, today I went to play basketball, and I enjoyed the time. It was a good time. Now, this is already good communication. This is telling about the action. And then, oh, I, 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 I shot uh, the, the ball so many times successfully, I felt very happy. That's feeling. And I wanted to do better. That's I want. And I said, I saw that, oh, uh, the, the other people, oh, some of them are, are, are tired. And, and one person is very energetic. So what I said. So when we talk about what we do, when we talk about all these areas, you notice just about playing basketball, I can tell you so many things already. So this is a skill we learn, and there are many things about life. For instance, you say, you know, you can combine these five areas. These five, for instance, when I saw you, I feel very happy. When I saw you, what is that? That's sense, I saw you. I feel very happy, what is that? Feeling. Now can you name this five? You have to remember this. Or you can put it in action. I mean, in noun. It's action, uh, sensing, and uh, thinking, and then wanting, and feeling. So, uh, for instance, if I tell you, when I pray, every time I pray, I can experience love and joy in me. Hallelujah. <laughs> And that makes me really like God. I like God a lot. I want to be with God. I want to have a close relationship with Him. And it most, that motivates me to serve God more. Now, what I just told you, I have included these five areas. Have you noticed? Every time I pray, what is that? Action. And then I felt love, joy, power go through me. What is that? Huh? Uh, this is not feeling. 
is sense. I sense something. This is, I sense, the body sense. And then I became very joyful. Then this feeling, the experience. I experience something that is sensing. And then I want to serve God more. I want to have a close relationship with God. What is that? That's I want. And then I want to put my life in God's hand. That's I want. And I enjoy. Enjoy. What is that? It can be a combination of feeling and also what I want to do, that I like to do it, and I enjoy doing it. I, I feel good when I do it. So when people talk like that, do you feel connected? You feel connected. So learn these five areas. This is another area that I can train. And what people do is they sit down and then try to communicate with these areas. And then the other person will tell them, oh, just now you have used, I want, I need, I think, I feel. And then, and then you know, you know the other person's communication. And then you know yourself. Be, then you are in contact with yourself and then you can communicate yourself with people. And then people will feel connected with you. I would describe people like this. People are like islands. Even though we see each other, we are island, separated from each other. We don't see the face, see the action, we don't know the inside. But when people talk, then it's like there is a bridge. When people talk, there's a bridge. When people ex express more, there are more bridges. So if you really know someone well, like my wife, there's so many big freeways connecting the both of us. Anytime we can communicate very well. But for many husband and wife, they marry for many years, there's only a little small road behind, between them. They could not communicate very well. So that's something you want to be able to talk about yourself. And the other person, uh, to respond to the person's need. But we don't speak for the person. What, what I mean is, we cannot say, oh, you're not happy. Uh, we are speaking for the person. Um, uh, we can ask, are you unhappy? We can ask, find out. Because sometimes, person talk doesn't necessarily mean he's unhappy. Uh, sometimes we speak too much for the person. But sometimes if the person has said that, then we are, it's okay to say that. But we have to find out if that is true. We don't assume. We have to find out. We have to know. So we learn to ex understand myself. So this is called self-awareness will. Aware of oneself. Aware of myself and then I, I can communicate myself and then I can hear people and I can be aware of other people. And I know where they are. I know where I am and how I can connect. Now actually, these are all in the Bible. Don't think that these are just psychology. Psychologists just discover human beings. But the, the Bible reveals about human beings. You can find all this, all this kind of communication in the Bible. The Bible does contain people being happy and sad and talk about uh, uh, the action. The Bible contains all that. So people just learn to distinguish these five qualities of communicating about ourselves to be connected to the other person. Okay? So this is one basic. But there are many other areas. For instance, another area is paying attention to the feelings of the person, responding to the feeling. If someone is unhappy, don't just try to solve the problem. But listen to the feelings, respond to the feeling first. If someone is very sad, you just tell them, now, I ask you to imagine, imagine if something has happened in your family today, something very sad. Maybe your house was broken last night in the big wind. Your house was broken. And today you talk about, oh, something happened in my home, or, or someone in your family has something happened, has a serious sickness. And then you talk about it, very unhappy. And a person just say, go to see the doctor. <laughs> How do you feel? You feel the person doesn't care much about you, right? Just tell you what to do. But if the person tell you, oh, I'll respond to you and say, Oh, I know that must make you feel very sad about the person. How is he now? How does that make you feel? Uh, what are you going to do? And can I do anything to help? You know, that way you're caring and responding. And that way people know you care. 
And that way we can affect people more. You know, many people think ministry is just telling you what to do, but caring about people and then meeting their needs and then we can motivate them more when we care about them. So this is listening to the feeling of people and then we can care about them more and change them more. When you care about people, you can change them. You don't care about them, you don't change them much. You cannot change them much. If they already love God, you don't need to change them. But if they don't love God, how can you change them? By love. The Bible says we love because God first loved us. It didn't say we love because God told us to love. <laughs> it's because God first loved us and then we change. We can see that we are motivated by God's love. The Bible says that, that you know, that is God's love that motivates us. So we love people. We respond to people's needs and feeling is a way of showing love, a most important way to show love. And that way will change people's heart.